What we've been telling people who ask is imagine you put your robe on in the morning, you go outside to get the paper, and the door's locked, and now you're outside for two weeks. What do you need? I am Sean Michael. As many of you know, my wife and I hail from the Deep South, and recently our home state of Alabama was struck by severe weather of historic proportions. April 27, 2011 is a day we'll never forget. Early morning storms swept through our area with strong straight line winds. Normally we're happy when our airstream is surrounded by trees, but on this day, we were worried. That's because those straight line winds left many of these trees doing a Tower of Pisa impersonation. The afternoon forecast predicted tornadoes. With more severe weather on its way, we decided to hitch and skedaddle. We moved our camper a whopping 50 feet forward, hopefully enough to escape the reach of those tall pines. Well, it turns out that we were really lucky. Not only did our airstream survive the storm unscathed, more importantly, so did our friends and family. But a lot of other people were not so fortunate. I took a trip to my old hometown to view the aftermath. Coleman is the place I grew up. It's a charming little town with some lovely homes, many of which now look like this. Some homes have been literally chopped in half. Coleman was founded after the Civil War by German immigrants. The Germans infused the town with a definite sense of order. So it's a little shocking to see it in this condition. This is a proud American city. And the flag is still flying here. But in spots, even Old Glory seems to be trapped in the rubble. In the heart of downtown, street signs have been smashed. Traffic lights demolished. And entire buildings have been obliterated. The effect is disorienting. You find yourself trying to remember what this place looked like just a few days ago. And I'm just, I can't even remember what was right here. For example, these are the remains of an 80 year old Southern cafe. This is where I learned to read, write, and shoot rubber bands at other students. It looks like my old school made it through the storm okay. Many streets are closed to traffic, and where you might expect to see school crossing guards, instead, you see military checkpoints. Helicopters survey the damage from above. Everywhere you look, massive trees have been ripped from the earth. Concrete sidewalks are torn from the ground. The downtown has become a menagerie of bobcats, bulldozers, and dump trucks. And loose wires seem to dangle from the sky. The windshield of this BMW is peppered with shrapnel wounds that look a lot like bullet holes. but the Beamer got off easy. This shows why you can't ride out a tornado in your car. Oddly enough, Coleman's oldest house somehow survived. But just down the street, some larger modern homes have been devastated. They're left listing like shipwrecks. This small wooden chapel is mostly intact. Two blocks away, the big brick church is ripped in half. It's amazing to see this. Yeah. My old hometown got hit pretty hard on April 27. 
but it's only one of several Alabama communities that were hammered by these unprecedented storms. The tornadoes swept across the state like a giant rake. Many people have lost literally everything they had, and their neighbors are trying to help. Uh, if you're going to donate to the American Red Cross, financially or otherwise, they have an Alabama-only fund, neighbors in need, that's ready to go. Many are giving to charities like the Red Cross. Others donate supplies. All right, you know I'm a glove fanatic. The glove fits. They need work gloves. Uh, we've been doing water, non-perishable foods, canned foods. We've had a high need for uh, baby items, diapers, wipes, you name it, everything you need for a baby. Um, we've been taking clothing, adults and children. Yeah. At our local fire department, goods are being collected, loaded onto trucks, and distributed to those in need. The recovery process has begun, but as a big rig packed full of supplies rolls away, I'm reminded of the destruction I saw in my old hometown. Quite simply, we're going to need more everything. Available on DVD.